Hey guys, welcome to Quick Concepts. That's a new short series that I've introduced. So we'll be discussing some concepts, you know, in concise and in brief. So that will be about this series. So we'll discuss a few topics that are, you know, very important for your prof examinations as well as also from your competitive examinations point of view, right? Whether it is your NEET, PG, INI, CET or MLE, all of these topics will be important there, right? So let's begin with today's session. My name is Chatanya Mittal. I am currently pursuing my MBBS at Ames Delhi. And at the end of the video, I'll also be talking to you about the Unacademy subscription, which is, you know, we have two subscriptions. One is the plus, the other is the iconic subscription. So I'll tell you in detail about these two subscriptions and how you can take them by going to the Unacademy Learner application. And you will also be able to get a 10% discount if you remember this referral code C H E T A N Y A. That's my name, Chatanya, followed by 10. You will get a 10% discount and you'll be eligible for the best of the offers on the Unacademy application. So I'll tell you more about that at the end of this video. Let's begin with today's session very quickly. And today's session. Hey guys, so this video will also simplify, you know, some stuff for you. So in this video, we're going to be discussing important cytokines that are also, you know, interleukins. So you will get a lot of questions in many questions. What is the function of interleukin 1? interleukin 2 and so whenever you have to write all of these that might be confusing to a lot of you so in this video i'm going to summarize these interleukins or cytokines for you all right so i hope that makes it easier so we will all categorize these by this uh you know we'll see which cell secretes them okay first of all which see we'll see which cell actually secretes these okay so, you know, the innate cell that is, you know, very central to the whole immunity process that is macrophage. So macrophage, it secretes a lot of these. Macrophage secretes a lot of these. And the moment the macrophage get activated, there are two very important ones, interleukin 1 and interleukin 6. You've definitely heard of them, especially with COVID-19 going on, you have heard of cytokine storm. Okay. And the main role there is of interleukin 6. Okay. So both of these cause fever. So for both of them, I will write fever, interleukin 1 as well as interleukin 6. Both of them are pro-inflammatory. And interleukin 6, it increases the acute phase protein. So a lot of the lab tests in COVID, they're based on the increase in these acute phase proteins. If you want to know what are acute phase proteins, you can refer to my other sessions on immunity. So uh, similarly, interleukin 1, it also increases the acute inflammatory process. So it also causes inflammation. Interleukin 1, it is a pro-inflammatory cytokine. It, uh, you know, activates a lot of adhesion molecules and attracts more WBCs, okay? Some people also call it the osteoclast activating factor, okay? But I'm not mentioning it here because I just want to, you know, keep it concise. Then uh, tumor necrosis factor alpha, it is another one that is released by the macrophage. Tumor necrosis factor alpha another pro-inflammatory cytokine and it also activates the endothelium okay it also attracts wbc's and uh, so it, it it activates the endothelium basically for your inflammatory response activates endothelium and attracts wbc okay so that is about tumor necrosis factor alpha okay very important function that it, it's 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 can it can lead to granulomas it is responsible for the maintenance of granulomas in tuberculosis so i'll just write a note here responsible for cachexia in malignancy cachexia of cancer and granuloma in tb so it helps in the maintenance of this granuloma all right then you have two more interleukin 8 and interleukin 12. So interleukin 8, the function is very specific. So it can be a very good MCQ because interleukin 8, the role is to attract neutrophils. The role is to attract neutrophils and interleukin 12, interleukin 12, it causes differentiation of T cells into T helper type 1 cells. Also, it plays an important role. See, this first point is very important that it causes the differentiation of naive T cells into T helper type 1. 
इट ऑल्सो एक्टिवेट्स ऑल्सो एक्टिवेट्स एन के सेल्स ठीक है सो इफ यू रेड द होल प्रोसेस ऑफ एक्टिवेशन ऑफ टी सेल यू वुड ऑलरेडी नो अबाउट द रोल ऑफ इंटरल्यूकिन ट्वेल्व बिकॉज इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट दैट इट लीड्स टू द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ टी हेल्पर टाइप वन ओके ना लेट्स गो टू द इंटरल्यूकिन सिक्रीटेड बाय टी सेल्स इंटरल्यूकिन सिक्रीटेड बाय टी सेल्स सो विच इज विच इंटरल्यूकिन which interleukin is called as the t cell growth factor t cell growth factor so if you remember a t cell if you remember a t cell it gets two signals called as signal 1 and signal 2 which are co stimulatory signals then with the help of you know the entry of calcium and through the whole pathway of activating calcineurin what it does is it increases the levels of interleukin 2 secretion and interleukin 2 receptor so interleukin 2 it is called as the t cell growth factor interleukin 2 it is called as t cell growth factor very very important t cell growth and proliferation factor so it helps in the growth and proliferation of t cells and interleukin 2 it is very important for all of the t cells whether it is helper t cells cytotoxic t lymphocytes regulatory t cells as well as even nk cells so interleukin 2 it's very important for all kinds of t lymphocytes then interleukin 3 it is also you know important and it is having more of a general role so it is associated with the bone marrow okay it is associated with the overall growth of the bone marrow okay it is considered to be similar to granulocyte monocyte colony stimulating factor theek okay? hai stimulates bone marrow as a whole then after t cell i come to i come to t helper cells okay so t helper cells t helper cells there are of two types t helper cells type 1 okay they only secrete one thing that is interferon gamma they secrete only one thing that is interferon gamma whereas t helper cells type 2 t helper cells type 2 they are responsible for the secretion of three things Three interleukins: interleukin four, interleukin five, and interleukin ten. So, what does interferon gamma do? Interferon gamma it activates macrophages. It activates macrophages. So now you will understand a very beautiful feedback loop here. You will understand a very beautiful feedback loop here. See, I told you. that macrophages okay let's say this is a macrophage it secretes interleukin 12 and with that it helps in the differentiation of a naive t cell into into a t helper cell type 1 this t helper cell type 1 will secrete interferon gamma which acts on the macrophage and it activates it right so this is a very important point and it's very good if you understand this feedback loop what about t helper cell type 2 so uh, this interferon gamma it also inhibits it also inhibits the formation of t helper cells type 2 okay next so t helper cell type 2 interleukin 4 interleukin 4 it causes the differentiation of t cells into t helper type 2 okay so it has two roles it is going to increase the t helper cells type 2 and it also helps in class switching to ige and igg so it is very important in the secretion of ige antibodies theek hai interleukin 5 it helps in the formation of iga antibodies okay and it is also attracting eosinophils so it is related to iga and eosinophils Okay, this can be a direct MCQ in your examination, and interleukin ten very very important because interleukin ten is a anti-inflammatory cytokine. It is a anti-inflammatory cytokine. Okay, it is also secreted by regulatory T cells. It is also secreted by regulatory T cells, and what does it do? It you know overall it reduces MHC class two molecules, reduces uh, the T helper cells. it you know inhibits macrophages so it is overall a anti inflammatory one along with one more anti inflammatory molecule is tgf beta so please do not forget 
which are pro inflammatory which are anti inflammatory so let me just you know revise that with you so which are pro inflammatory and anti inflammatory so pro inflammatory you all know il1 il6 tnf alpha but do not forget the anti inflammatory il10 and tgf beta so these are the so this is the summary of all the important cytokines and their functions with regards to immunology these are sufficient for answering all basic questions related to cytokines important cytokines and interleukins in immunology thank you so much guys i hope you like this compilation of uh, information and i hope you guys will hit the like button on this thank you so much guys for watching this video i hope you guys liked it and if you did please remember to hit the like button drop a comment share it with all your friends and ask them to subscribe in case you haven't subscribed please go ahead and do so and you can also hit the bell icon for notifications you can also subscribe to our telegram channel the link for that is also there in the description so you can subscribe to youtube and you can also subscribe to our telegram channel so before i end the video let me tell you very quickly about the unacademy program like i told you we have a plus subscription and a iconic subscription in the plus subscription you get access to the unacademy application where india's top educators are taking live courses now these are structured batch courses meant for a specific purpose and you will also get the recorded videos and the notes for these sessions along with that aapko kya milta hai ek q bank milta hai jisse aap apne pg ki taiyari kar sakte hain which has over 25000 questions with a clinical orientation and you can also attempt grand tests and quizzes with other learners so you can know how good your preparation is if you go for the iconic subscription plan the best thing is aapko dobara kabhi kuch sochna hi nahi padega right you not only get the live experience of an academy but you also get the recorded experience of prep ladder where top 19 faculty they are making videos for the 19 subjects complete mbbs and that is very good for your examinations a quick revision and here you will get the printed notes delivered to your doorstep so that is the one of the biggest advantages of the iconic subscription and you can see that you can select your goal as neat pg on the unacademy learner application and you can either go for plus or iconic to jo bhi aap select karte hain uska duration select karo and then you will have the option to apply this referral code that is c h e t a n y a chatanya then or you can also use a simpler referral code spcm okay please remember to use any of these two referral codes you will get a 10% discount and the best offers on an academy and i will also be really thankful to you okay so these are some of the features that you can try out on an academy and you can unlock special classes using my referral code chatanya 10 so the the classes are really interactive you know we have a very good chat box and we also have polls in the sessions new feature raise a hand i'll just tell you about it there's a q bank that has 25000 clinically oriented questions which are very really relevant for your entrance examinations along with explanations and matlab page number diya hua hai ki kaun si kitab mein kahan pe diya hua hai right you can also go for the plus subscription where you know you if you go for a two year plan you get four months extra if you go for a one year plan you get two months extra and for a six month subscription you get one month at no additional cost theek hai these were the grand tests i was telling you about you can try them out on the application the new feature raise a hand you can basically you know raise your hand and unmute yourself in the live class theek hai aur aapka jo bhi doubt hai educator live session mein solve karega so that's the most interactive feature that we have on the platform and aisa kahin aur nahi hai right so these are some of the toppers of our recently declared results for neat pg so we would really like to congratulate them we keep on starting new batches for everyone for you know no matter if you are preparing for neat pg or ins set or if it's next you know if you are giving it in 2023 or fmg so we have all of these batches even for profs theek hai so you can join whichever batch you guys are going to prepare for and you can you know join multiple batches also so you can continue your learning on an academy thank you so much guys for watching see you in the next session